Hi guys, Santa here with uh, Mansara Roses Greedy. This perfume was launched in 2012 under the nose of uh, Pierre Montal. Uh, the ingredient quality as usual is quite good. The longevity and production of Mansara's are all quite well known. They, they are called uh, niche house with uh, designer pricing and I hope they continue with that. Uh, their blend is usually of quality, it's just whether you like their note combos or not. That's a matter of individual preference. Now, for Roses Greedy, um, uh, this uh, perfume, Montalpia Montal, he has put in a top note of uh, pink pepper, coconut, mandarin orange, blackcurrant peach, mid note of jasmine flowers and rose, and a base note of benzoin, amber, vanilla sugar, and white musk. And um, this started as a unisex fragrance, but I think it leans a bit more feminine. And um, uh, I, I can watch that, you know, after spraying it on, I, I wash my hand and all, and the smell still lingers, and that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it, initially, it gives me that black currant uh, heat first uh, in the opening. Definitely, that's the strongest among the opening notes. And then I start get, getting the jasmine and flower and all these other white mask and so on. So pleasant, uh, nice to, it gives you that fresh vibe, you know. Uh, but if you're going for the more, if you're a guy and you're going for a more macho, more male kind of a feel in an environment, then that might, uh, yeah, it might give you a bit more of a metrosexual feel, or a bit more of a uh, soft guy image, right? So take take that as you will. But uh, like for me, I prefer more traditional male type of perfumes uh, most of the time. I mean, generally that's how I, I roll. Um, but I definitely can appreciate a good female perfume, right? Uh, I mean, of course, worn by the opposite sex. So I'd recommend this more for females, uh, especially if you are the bubbly, cheerful type, that that would be uh, a good kind of a thing to go along with your personality. And interestingly enough, I think, if you are somebody who's more emo, who's more, uh, your friends say you're more negative kind of a person, who's more introverted, wearing something like this, which, which is kind of opposite to your nature, can actually be a good thing because uh, it can make people curious about you, uh, it can give an aura of positivity around you, although you are sulking or whatever, and that can trigger conversation and, you know, what are you wearing or whatever, it is nice and sort of bring you in a more positive frame of mind. I do quite believe that um, perfumes can, can really alter our mood and um, when you go for certain activities and you wear a perfume, it can sort of augment or enhance your feeling for that particular occasion or event. Of course, you must know how to choose your perfumes. Uh, and so the event itself goes a bit more better because you've taken a bit of extra care to uh, not only wear something pleasant and sweet smelling, but also something that sort of uh, um, goes with the theme of the event, right? So then the likelihood of good outcomes are, of course, better in the situation, okay? So um, this is, uh, I, I don't, I think I did a short video of this as well before, I don't know, I give it a 2.5 or 3. The reason I gave a bit of a lower mark is more because of the fact that it's, uh, it can be a bit confusing when they say unisex and, and so on. So I feel they should just market this more as a female perfume, it'll be better. Uh, but I think having said that, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to go higher a bit, 3 to 3.5 maybe, because it's it's got quality stuff, it's just that. Uh, the target audience they got to be a bit more clearer on that okay so so i i think it's great for females okay guys thank you that's it from sent much love bye bye comment as usual